hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on Arduino so this will be a social distancing uh, detector project using Arduino so this will be very helpful for uh, students or somebody who want to do a project on social distancing so this uh, social distancing detector uh, project using Arduino have uh, some components uh, uh, you know what we are using we are going to use an Arduino you know and we will be having a PR motion sensor so we do it will be used to detect emotion but uh, we also will have a ultrasonic sensor to see a distance measurement so it's not only we just going to see somebody who is moving or not we also will detect based on the movement what is the distance and uh, what we will do is we will be having a RGB LED which uh, I will make use of it to show like red or green light uh, depending upon the motion and distance and we'll also use a buzzer to give some alarm sound that you know uh, based on our code and what we want to do okay so we'll see that more in the uh, coming sections so I just want to tell you what the components we are using and I'll also use an LCD where we can display some message like you know when we detect some uh, person uh, or we said that uh, measurement that you know be somebody reaches near to us within this distance let's give a message on the display that you know uh, which can be displayed to them so that will be overall so we'll be using our tinkercad for these projects uh, we'll be doing the circuit and also we'll be doing the coding in the uh, tinkercad okay so before i get into that uh, i would uh, request you like if you have not subscribed to my channel or you're new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button also like the video share and comment so as we discuss uh, what we are going to use is like in Tinkercad we are going to use the components we are going to use an Arduino PR sensor uh, ultrasonic sensor uh, RGB LED uh, another piece of buzzer and also LCD uh, 16 bar 2 LCD so uh, I'll be using uh, also a potentiometer because sometimes you know the LCD should will not uh, lit correctly or you will not see the display properly so you will have to use a potentiometer to control the backlight so if you don't know how to use all those things just check you know my previous tutorial because we have done uh, each component separately like a PR separate ultrasonic separate the buzzer you know LCD and everything we have a separate tutorial now we are going to combine all those things into this uh, social uh, distancing project using Arduino okay and uh, you know I have done the, all the uh, connections and everything uh, you know so it's going to take a little bit time so I don't want to uh, spend all the time here so if you see what we are going to do is we are going to uh, connect uh, the you know, uh, PR sensor uh, first so what we are going to use I'm going to connect the PR sensor pin so this will be signal pin so in actual uh, PR sensor sometimes the middle will be the signal okay so you have to check what will be the pin so based on that I'm going to use the pin 12 for uh, PR sensor okay and the other power goes to uh, power and also the ground okay and I'm going to also use the ultrasonic sensor. So ultrasonics we have a, a one for trigger and one for echo. This is a four pin ultrasonics. Okay, so if you are using a three pin, it will be different. So I would say like go for a four pin ultrasonic sensor. So I'm going to use the trigger pin to seven. Okay, and uh, the echo pin to six. And the uh, same power and uh, ground goes to the those uh, pins. Okay, and uh, since I want to use um, uh, an RGB LED so RGB LED you have uh, four pins one for red one for cathode one for blue and one for green right so cathode goes to ground and the uh, rest of the pins uh, uh, goes to respective place since I only want to use red and green I'm going to use uh, just those pins alone okay I'm using a 220 ohm resistor so from the red I'm connecting that to the pin number 10 okay and also from the green I'm connecting uh, through the resistor to the pin number 8 so you can change the pins as per your name but uh, you have how to change the code as well based on that and uh, for the piece of buzzer again you know I'm using the pin number 13 for the buzzer positive and also the negative goes to the uh, ground using the uh, uh, resistor so you can make this connection based on that okay and um, now it's the other part which is the display okay so as I said if you don't know how to set up display you need to check my previous tutorial on that okay so display if you see they have a lot of pins uh, connections so you have this ground um, we have power we have the contrast right and uh, register uh, read write 
enable and these are the pins for data right so we have a uh, db4 db5 yep this is uh, six then seven and you have the led anode and cathode so this goes to the power uh, this one is going to the cathode which is going to the ground through the resistor this is the power okay so it goes to the uh, 5 volt and the same way here if you see the power goes to 5 volt but you know as i said if you directly connect sometime what happens you know the uh, display does not give you the right output so the potentiometer you can use you know to control the uh, power uh, or uh, current uh, inflow into the backlight okay so i'm going to use the potentiometer which have three pins to terminal one uh, wiper and the terminal two so this goes in between the power and also the ground goes in between the ground uh, the t wiper will control the uh, backlight so this goes to this uh, pin for contrast so i will go this will go to the contrast okay and uh, a0 a1 i'm using for uh, register and uh, this one for uh, enable so you can use other pins as well but uh, since there are a lot of other connection i don't have much pins left to use so i'm using the analog pin but this will act as a digital pin uh, as it is because we are going to use a digital output there now this data pin i'm using it here uh, Okay, so this is going to 2, 3, 4, and 5. So it's uh, this one. Uh, DB7 is going to 2. Uh, this is 3, uh, 4, and 5. Okay, so as I said, all these things, you know, you can change it, but the problem is you have to change the code as well based on that. Okay, so I will uh, share all these details in my github link so you can uh, check this uh, diagram and also the code in the github location okay so don't worry about that so you can refer the diagram connection and the code in that location okay now going back to the code uh, so it's pretty you know straightforward code you need to first import the library for your lcd which is the liquid crystal if you are using a different lcd you have to import that you need to install that in the Arduino IDE first so that you know it will um, make use of this library and then you have to set this function so here is what I said A0A1 5432 so it's based on these pins so A0A1 and this uh, 5432 so if you are changing those pins you have to change it here as well so these are the pins which we have used it for uh, a trigger and echo pin for the ultrasonic uh, this is a, a long duration which is a variable which I am uh, using in this program okay and the same as for distance okay and the pin buzzer uh, is for the buzzer pin which is uh, this one 13 okay which is going to the buzzer and we have a uh, red uh, pin and the blue pin I'm sorry it should be green pin okay so uh, you know it doesn't uh, matter the what the uh, variable name you give but this is actually going to the green okay so this is green okay and the PR pin uh, is the 12 pin number 12 and uh, I'm using another integer for ECMA it's, it's you can use any other uh, variable of, uh, as the name okay it doesn't matter it should be ECMA it can be other name as well okay now the first, uh, initial point is to do the wired setup so we are going to set the pin mode for each of these pins so uh, trigger pin is an output echo pin is an input buzzer is output uh, red uh, green uh, no pin for LEDs are output and the PR pin is also an output and we are also initi initiating CDL begin for the you know, uh, the monitor so I'll clear out the screen so when we do this you will be able to see uh, the output what we are getting okay and I'm also going to initiate the LCD uh, which is a 16 bar uh, by 2 you know, LCD now it's the main part of wired loop since I'm not using any functions or separate uh, uh, no functions for each program since everything is under the void loop so if you are using a separate functions uh, you can create those as void uh, those function name and then you can call that in the void loop okay so uh, first thing what we are going to do is we are going to use the each human uh, integer and I'm going to save the digital read for a PR pin so if the PR pin find any motion it will be saved under to this value so I'm just printing this uh, value here so you'll get this value here whether it's 0 or 1 because the PR will give you a binary value to 0 or 1 
So what we are uh, trying to do here is like once we detect the motion from PR sensor, uh, we are going to do the next step, which is the calculation of uh, the distance. So it's based on uh, the motion. So if you detect a motion, then we will uh, do the trigger pin uh, and also the echo pin, we will use it. So then uh, you can see here what we are trying to do with this uh, method for calculating the distance. So you, if you don't know how to use, just uh, check the, you know, the process on that. So it's a standard process how to calculate the distance. So you're going to save the duration, which is the pulse in for echo pin. So um, that's the way we do it. And uh, you calculate the distance using this formula. And uh, I'm going to print the distance here in the centimeter. Okay. So uh, that's also we will see it in the uh, serial monitor, like how much is the distance. And what we are uh, doing is like in this uh, you know, uh, loop, what we are trying to do is if, the, if there is a motion and if the distance is less than 200 centimeter. So you can change the value as per your needs. So for this uh, uh, tutorial or this example, I'm showing like if it's less than uh, 200 centimeter, I'm going to send you a message that, you know, uh, the LED will be uh, turned into red and also the buzzer will be giving you a uh, alarm sound uh, and also you'll be getting something on the LCD uh, as a message like stay away that you are uh, less than 200 centimeter and you are near near to that person so that's what uh, we are trying to say like if somebody is uh, reaching to some point and if it's less than 200 centimeter uh, you'll be getting a beep sound and also the uh, LED will start showing red light and also you'll get a message on the LCD as uh, stay away Whereas if it's not, uh, you know, uh, if uh, even though the person is there and if the distance is more than 200 centimeter, you may get, uh, you know, a message uh, as you are safe and also the LED will be green. There will not be any buzzer sound. Okay. So that will be the overall process what we are trying to do. So it's a simple project uh, with a little bit of sensor. So if somebody is uh, uh, moving and if you find, you know, that person is reaching to near to you, uh, it will start uh, giving you a beep sound and also a red LED and also a display uh, with this device. Okay, so let's start a simulation on that. So I'm going to click on uh, start simulation. Okay, so let me start the serial monitor as well so you can see the serial monitor. Okay, so let me make it a little bit smaller so that you can see uh, even the LCD as well. Okay. So now you see the serial monitor is giving a uh, zero. So now if I go and change the PR sensor, you can see that there's a motion and also you get the distance. It's also right. And if you see the LCD, it's green now because uh, we don't have any, you know, uh, uh, the distance is uh, greater than uh, 200 centimeter. So let me do it again. You can see it's uh, two, more than 200 centimeter. So because of that, the LCD is green and you can see on the uh, I'm sorry, the LED is green and also on the LCD you are getting a message uh, like you are safe, right? Now let's do again and uh, let's do the ultrasonic answer and if you see you can you will be getting a beep sound and also the LED was red and also you know the uh, message on you know if you see the LCD is red and if you see the message on L uh, display it's uh, stay away, right? So you got uh, three things one the LED was red the beep sound and also the LCD as a message stay away you can see the serial monitor it will show you the output you can see the message was uh, you know, like uh, coming because of the distance which is only 130 centimeter which is less than 200 centimeter which we have set so that's the overall uh, process what we have done. So, you know, as I said, this uh, potentiometer is used to, to control the LCD backlight. So if you sometimes you don't see the uh, message like stay away or you are safe because of this, you have to uh, rotate the potentiometer and the uh, display will be OK. So uh, that's why the reason I used the potentiometer. OK, so if you don't want to use it, you can try out uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it does not work. OK. So I hope uh, this is a useful uh, project. So I think this will be very useful for people who are uh, trying to do some project on social distancing. And I uh, know if you have some queries, you can reach out to me. Okay, so uh, I will share these details on the uh, circuit and also on the code on the GitHub uh, in the video description. So I hope uh, this is an informative tutorial for you and uh, please click on the subscribe for more videos and uh, I hope uh, it's a useful uh, tutorial for you.